In CCNA Voice here at Stormwind.com, we walk students through troubleshooting IP phone registrations in the Unified Communication System. In Route here at Stormwind.com, we troubleshoot BGP, OSPF, EIGRP. In Switch, we troubleshoot all of the various switching topics. It seems to me that it would be really nice if we had an overall methodology for troubleshooting all of these topics. In fact, why stick to computer networking? Wouldn't it be nice to have a methodology for troubleshooting why there's no money in my checking account? Well, in the CCNA Voice course, we have just that methodology. By the way, this was borrowed from the troubleshooting course that Cisco offers that we feature here at stormwind.com. This is an amazing methodology that we can apply to any troubleshooting that we need to do. Let's take a look at it. We start by making sure we properly gather the, uh, define the problem. Yeah. Before you gather facts on what might be the issue, you have to figure out what is the problem to begin with. And if you're relying on an end user of your network to define the problem, that can be a little scary. You might have to dig a little deeper to really figure out what is truly the problem. Once we define that problem, we can gather facts. We can consider various possibilities and then we can go ahead and decide an action plan. Yeah, what are we going to do to try and solve the problem? We implement that, and then we carefully observe the results. If the symptoms have stopped, then we solved the problem. We'll want to document what we did and then go to the local pub and celebrate. If the problems didn't stop, then we need to go back in and utilize this process either starting over with gathering facts or jumping right to the creation of another action plan. Notice, this is a rock solid methodology, as I stated, for not just solving computer problems. We should really take a methodical approach like this to solving any major problem. I mean, obviously, if your shoes are untied, just jump right to the action plan of tying them and then observe the results. You get the idea. By the way, combine this with the wonderful troubleshooting aids that Cisco gives us on their website, like here you can see troubleshooting BGP, combine that methodology with specific steps that we can take for a specific technology, and I think you'll find that troubleshooting in the Cisco environment is truly a breeze.